Welcome. Video creation requires good lighting. Good lighting illuminates the subject well, brings out the skin tones and gives a smooth texture. A diffuser placed in front of a light source provides a large source of diffuse light. The light is soft and shadows are reduced. Today I am going to show you the construction of a diffuser. I made this at a very affordable cost. I strive to bring to you do it yourself and tech videos. So go ahead and subscribe to my videos. So go ahead and subscribe to my channel if you are interested. Like it, share it and smash the bell icon. Let me show you the construction process. Welcome back. I always like soft light. I am now using soft light on as my light source. I am now using two sources of soft light as my light source. To my left, I have got this diffuser which I have recently made and to my right, I have got a reflector. People look great under soft light. There are two ways to produce soft light. One is with a reflector in which a light source is bounced onto a reflector and the reflected light is a soft light. Another method is to pass light through some semi-transparent fabric material or paper or tracing paper to disperse the light particles and waves and diffuse it. A diffuser serves this purpose. Many people choose soft boxes for diffusing light. Soft boxes are excellent and they do a very good job but they can occupy a lot of space while recording or filming within tight spaces. One advantage of a soft box is that it can be mounted on a single light stand with the light source. A diffuser is a sheet of fabric or paper placed in front of a light source. This is a paper, transparent paper and this can act as a diffuser and the light is shown through it. The big advantage of a diffuser is that it can be as big as you want. If you are standing while recording, it can cover your whole frame, it can illuminate your whole frame unlike soft boxes which just illuminate your face and upper body. Another advantage is that the diffuser can be stored away with very little space. This cloth can be folded back and kept in a shelf. The frame is just half an inch thick and it can be kept in some place. A frame doesn't occupy much space and the fabric can be folded and kept in a drawer. One can use a sheet of tracing paper and one can fold this and keep it away. I made a diffuser with an aluminium frame and a shower curtain. I will show you the construction in this video. Here is what I needed to make this diffuser. An aluminium wooden frame, a shower curtain, a bunch of grommets, tighteners. These are called tighteners. You might have seen them in shoes and all that. A ball of cord and scissors. I have mounted the diffuser on two light stands with a super clamp and a ball head clamp. The procedure. The size of the aluminium frame was 48 inches which is the ideal size for a reflector. I just had this aluminium frame in my house. I purchased a milky white shower curtain and I could make two diffusers with this cloth each measuring 42 inches by 42 inches. I got the cloth cut and stitched by a tailor. The important thing when cutting a cloth for a diffuser purpose is that the edges have to be folded over and stitched on both the ends, both the sides so that you can use, so that you can introduce grommets and this grommets won't tear the cloth when they are being tightened. I measured the sides of the cloth and made holes in the periphery. I cut holes over these points with scissors and inserted grommets. I cut the roll of cord into sufficient lengths 
doubled them and passed it through the tighteners with the doubled up end first the diffuser was attached to the frame with the cords and tightened to make it taut this frame was mounted to two light stands with a super clamp and a swivel head clamp it can be elevated to about 8 feet which is the height of the light stand i use four led bulbs and the total lumens which i am getting right now i am recording it under the diffuser is about 10000 lumens this is the only key light source which i have right now the other one is a reflector the screen or the scrim is placed in front of the light bulbs and this serves as the light source i'll show you the construction of the diffuser So I hope uh, you like this video. The cost of making this diffuser came to around about a thousand rupees. The frame cost me about four hundred rupees. The curtain cloth cost me about three hundred and fifty rupees, and uh, then there was some labor involved for the tailor and all that. That was about five hundred rupees. So roughly about thousand thousand five hundred rupees. The light source for the diffuser is a four in one. bulb holder and i have mounted philips 25 40 watt bulbs here the total light input is around 10000 lumens for me this reflector has come at no cost and therefore you see i have got an excellent source of diffuse light the include the cost inclusive of the light source and the diffuser is roughly around uh, Uh, 2500 rupees or 3000 rupees if you look in the market the cost of a diffuser the cost of a light source video light is minimum 10000 rupees and then if you want to buy a soft box the cost can go up very steeply and uh, moreover as i said you need to have lot of storage space you can't film within tight spaces all that this diffuser it's quite huge quite large it's about 48 inches 4 feet and you saw that so it it can be just kept away very easily so i hope you like this video if you do like it kindly hit the like button share it subscribe to my channel madras joint replacement center and after subscribing hit the bell icon to receive notifications of further videos i'll see you in the next video cheers